I always want to meet people where they are. I know what it feels like to hear somebody and not know what they're talking about and feel lost. And I hate it. And I sort of imagine yeah. that I'll probably hate it. So I prefer to meet people where they are, talk about something that I know you already know, and bring you from that thing that you already know into the more esoteric world of the quantum. And another really inspiring communicator for me is Richard Feynman. So Richard Feynman, the Nobel Prize winning physicist, um, when I'm trying to figure out how to explain something in quantum mechanics, I go back to the Feynman lectures every time because the Feynman lectures on physics, uh, especially on quantum mechanics, he's really good at breaking it down into plain English that we can all understand. And at the same time, and this is extremely important to me, Feynman is always right. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I, as a scientist, my job is to find truth and communicate truth. I, I really strive very hard to make sure that what I say is both accessible and at the same time correct. And that's an art, it takes practice. Yeah, definitely. And I think um, that balance of accessibility and complexity is just, and, and being right is so important. And I agree with you in that Feynman does that amazingly that, you know, you don't actually have to dumb things down in order for them to be accessible or not tell the full story in order for them to be accessible. So. I think that's um, amazing. Mm -hmm.